welcome to Score Views. Today we're having a look at the NECA Ultimate Friday the 13th Part 3D Jason Voorhees figure. So the front here has kind of a wood cabin look to it. You can see that there. If you like this new camera angle, it's not going to be like this every time. It's a different height, different area each time I film. But you can kind of see that there. And the 3D part kind of has some blood dripping. And it's kind of like a 3D effect there on the wood. So it was carved right here. It says Friday the 13th Part 3D. And the is underlined with the wood. See the glass here is shattered. I think that's what that's supposed to be. Jason right there. NECA Real Toys. The back has more of that 3D look right there. The logo. A figure, an image of Jason. The figure right there with a noose. Don't, that background does not come with this. Uh, some other images there. Jason and a little read up of Jason. And the includes are right here, which includes a machete, pitchfork, harpoon gun, knife, axe, fire poker, wrench, and two interchangeable heads and masks. And the bottom here has the axe, pickaxe, and a pitchfork right there. And then the spear gun right there. Or the, is that what it called? Harpoon gun. So that's pretty cool. And then the front here does that and it actually has a 3D effect with the blood and everything. Which looks really cool. And when you open this up, you can see a picture of the figure there. Although it does not actually have a machete with blood on it. And then here's the figure here. So when we come back, we'll have this figure open and out of its package. Here is Jason out of the package. So first we're going to have a look at some of the accessories he has here. Uh, the fire pick right here. I wish it kind of had an orange tip to it rather than just the gray here, but the gray is fine. It's almost got a texture here rather than this kind of being smooth and rough. And then this handle has different uh, grooves and bumps for it. Really different, nice textures there. He also comes with the knife that uh, the girl stabs him in the kneecap with towards the end of the film. I believe this is that knife. He also, I think, kill, uses it to kill the girl in the hammock. I think that's. I, I think this is the same weapon. You can see the blood on there. Also comes with a pitchfork. Now the pitchfork. The wood on here is just really just a plastic. It does not look that nice. But the metal is... It's, it's, it's potentially fine. So here's this mask here. This mask has a part of a missing chevron there. And it's also got the axe cut right up here. And one thing I do like about the Part 3 mask is that these are very loose. So it almost is like a strap. And I don't believe the Part 4 was like that. It's much more tight, but these are much more mobile, 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 more bendy, more loose, and I do like that because it does, it hangs more like a strap, like and it folds down like that. And with this also comes the battle damage head towards the end of the movie where it gets hit in the face with the axe. And this one's got some nice shiny gore in here with the blood. Blood's really nice and shiny. It's fresh. It goes down in here. Cuts down through there. Face sculpt on here is pretty nice. You can see the teeth are he right here are very gruesome. Shiny, nasty looking. Uh, paint on this is pretty nice too as well. Some black splashes there on the figure, but it's fine. It's Jason, he's been through stuff. Now, one thing uh, you might know is F Score Review sticks these things here to show off Jason. This is the new cartridge. I don't know if you've seen this or not yet, um, but it's just after school reviews, and you'll see those when I'm doing my live streams. That's my new intro. It even says after school reviews right there. It just really looks nice and cool. It's got the Atari logo right there. It's got the Evil Dead chainsaw, the Bad Mother, you know, the uh, Pulp Fiction wallet, the lightsaber, and a Jason mask, and then the red and green is supposed to look like Freddy, and I couldn't really fit anything else on here to make it better, but uh, that's what this looks like. So, if you like that, just give the video a thumbs up. Um, these are also the movies right here, Jason. I don't have uh, any VHS tapes for Friday the 13th. I would definitely put that over here, but I do not have that, uh, which is a big bummer. Now we're going to have a look at Jason here. He also comes with a machete, uh, and this one actually is with the figure rather than some of the problems. I actually don't have a machete for one of my Jasons. 
but I'm pretty sure it's like the same one. Uh, Jason here. This head sculpt is a different mask. I'm bring that up nice close here. There's no blood here, and the chevron is fully there too. And the eye is here. The faces, I think, are different sculpted too. So if we look here, you can see the head sculpts are different indeed. This one having a more open mouth, and this one having a more closed mouth. Uh, this one also does not have a big gash in the head. This one feels like much more bigger bulge there, rather than this one. So this figure uh, also has some problems. Since it's ultimate, uh, the articulation is ultimate, but I'm pretty sure that's not actually different, because when they originally released these NECA did, I'm pretty sure they had the same amount of articulation they do now. But one thing that is a problem with this figure is the big old blood right there on his neck. It looks he's like he just like slit his neck right there, and that's for the other head to fit uh, when he's bleeding. But I feel like we didn't even need that. But I feel like what we also could have gotten was those T1000 uh, chest things, and I really thought that that's what we were gonna get with these. Kind of like Freddy. Freddy had that, which is kind of funky. But uh, if we would have had that, kind of like the T1000, pop that off, pop a new one uh, right there. We could have had a nice cleaner neck and I would have paid a little bit more for that. Uh, I think there's another figure, the Terminator I wish had that, the T-800, like the T-1000 had it, but I feel like the Ultimate T-800 needs that too, and you can check that video down in my uh, other videos, it's fairly new. Uh, this pants on here are blue and they got some browns to look nasty and dirtier, also got a nice knee blood there from a stab, they also got some more browns. And Pants on this figure, or I mean the shoes on this, are also very nice. Now, I do think these are all the same from the Freddy ones. Now, I, that's where I originally saw these, and I'm pretty sure these are the same as Freddy's. Uh, although these actually have painted silver. Some of the shoes don't even have that. They're just like one color. And they don't paint the silver, which is a very needed detail. Uh, because these, you know, they're highly detailed. Now this green has kind of a black wash to give emphasis to the wrinkles, and it brings out the shadows on this. And the back of this is kind of stretched because this is Hunchback Jason, Hunchback Notre Dame, and that's what this figure looks like. I mean, if I mean everybody knows that from Part Three, Jason's got this weird Hunchback thing going on there. You can see that there, just really odd shaped, but it's fine. And then, uh, I mean, that's movie accurate. So remove the mask there. That's how weird that looks with the blood there on the neck, rather than in the other area. So I'm going to show you uh, some ways you can display this Jason um, in just different forms. Here's Jason, like this pose. Like this with the harpoon gun. Jason with the pitchfork. Jason with, uh, with the axe. And Jason with the axe to the face, which is that typical scene where Jason... Well, you can't even see his eyes in this. Where Jason becomes like a zombie and he goes with his hands both out and he like starts to attack the girl but that's i mean it fits in there and then of course there's a scene where jason has you know he runs out there like this and she's like out in the boat and he's just like you know but that does blend in with the neck very well i have to say and it looks really nice so i think you should pick up this figure if you see him and i think you should pick up probably two of these actually one for battle damage and one for ready to go jason you can probably fix the neck here and make make it perfect or something. Same thing with all these NECA Jasons, the ultimate ones, except the part six, unless you want to do a duplicate of those. But I think you should get duplicates of some of the ones that you can change, like T-1000s with the torso change, and same thing with the um, Freddy, uh, the Freddy's um, Ash. I think maybe you could also get a different change there with the NECA Ultimate Ash. Uh, but not the one with the chainsaw, unless you wanted to have duplicates of that one. The NECA Chucky, uh, you're going to probably want to get duplicates of those, because those have different heads. And you, we never see a Chucky figure, and these are probably going to be the perfect size, maybe, together. We'll just have to see. Thank you guys for watching App School Reviews. Today we were having a look at the NECA Ultimate Terminal... Oh, crap. The NECA Ultimate Friday the 13th Part 3D Jason. So, thank you guys for watching App School Reviews. Go 
check out on Facebook, Action Figure Sanctuary. Post your action figures, look at some action figures, sell your action figures, buy some action figures. Just do whatever you want on there as long as you post pop culture or some action figures. You're going to have some fun over there on Facebook. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also hit that bell icon for live streams. Oh yeah, I live stream all the time now. Thanks for watching. Join me for the next video. Or go back and watch my other videos. Thanks. Call a comment. Leave a comment too. Yeah. Yeah, leave a comment. Well, thanks for watching. Add score views.